Welcome back to Lab Week, everyone. This is your Blue Devil News. I'm Jeffrey. And I'm Luke. Seniors, we have some very important information, so listen up. Graduation is May 29th at Lipscomb University. The senior fee is of $75 is due on March 5th. This includes your cap, gown, diploma, and cover, and a lot of other costs with graduation. Go to the LHS website to pay. Speaking of graduation, OSA members' graduation stalls are now on sale. If you're interested in being recognized at graduation for your health size achievements, see Ms. T to place your order. The cost is $25. Make checks payable to LHS HOSA. Orders will be taken through February 16th. Seniors, make sure you check your emails for the final voting for senior superlatives. Voting will be closed on Monday, February 15th. The TN Promise extended the FAFSA deadline to March 1st, and they're offering webinars for eight hours for required community service. Also, there are other FAFSA events on Monday, February 22nd from 12 to 4 p.m. Sign-ups are required, and families can reserve times at Genius.com. Tennessee Achieves recognizes that completing in-person community service hours may be challenging. As an additional resource, they have recorded a virtual opportunity for you to complete community service hours. Go to tnachieves.org. We'll be back with more information after our Friday dose of Blues Clues. It's clues, not clues. Oh, blues blues clues. clues. Roll the thing. We're keeping that in. <laughs> Today we're going around asking students if they can put dates into a timeline correctly. So here we go. Whenever you are. I'm ready. Easy enough. Um, World War I begins in 1914 and ends in 1918, arguably 1919, depending on how you want to date it. Pearl Harbor is December 7th, 1941. <laughs> oh, and we lost it. Moon landing is 69. If you want to go ahead and put yep. that on. JFK assassination is 63. That's the only reason I know my dad's birth year. Um, it's because it happened at the time of the JFK assassination. World War II arguably begins in 38, but we'll take 39. We're sorry we didn't get it right It's okay. For you. you didn't consult me. It's fine. <sighs> oh, I this see. This is where it gets difficult. All right. Great Depression begins. That's uh, the Hoover presidency. I'm pretty sure that's 29. Um, yeah. yeah, we're sorry. Our, our, it's okay. Our it's okay. Terrible thumbtacks. This makes work. This, this works. <laughs> Steamboat Willie. Not sure about that, actually. Wright Brothers Flight, I want to say, is 20. Mm, is that? No, hold on. Let's see here. Y'all having fun with this? Yes, sir. Uh, this is fantastic content right here. Glad. No, no, Titanic's 1912. I remember that. Uh, I want to say Wright Brothers Flight. 28 doesn't seem right, especially since the Spanish Civil War had already happened, or was going to happen. Okay, hold on. Then that means, right brothers, 1903, that doesn't make sense. Um, I think it's 1912. That actually makes more sense. I'm gonna switch this. This, I'm gonna say Steamboat Willie. 1928, and I'm going to say Wright Brothers 1912, but I'm not certain about those. I, I could have any of those messed up, but um, yeah, I'm happy with this. Okay, so 1903, what's 1903? Uh, 1903 is a year. <laughs> yeah, but like, 1914 sounds familiar though, and so does 1912, but I don't even know what the Wright Brothers flight is, to be honest. It was the first first airplane flight. Okay, okay. Morgan, what do you think? World War II was like... Hold up, make a little closer. World War II was like... 1928, maybe? You want me to go ahead? Does that sound right? Yeah. Okay. 10 out of 10 confidence. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Got eight 7. Got 8 more. Okay. Pearl Harbor. <laughs> This sounds like it could go here, so we're just going to put it here. <laughs> All right. Titanic. 
where's the Titanic go? <laughs> sure. That looks right. <laughs> Where does it go? Hey. Morgan, help me. Not there. Then move it. No. World War One. Where does it go? 1914 or 1912? <laughs> okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pause y'all right there. So, according to your logic, World War Two came before World War One. <laughs> Backwards. Do 1912. And then, like, yeah. That works. No, they're not right beside each other. No, didn't the Great Depression have to happen after World War One? Are you asking? Yeah. Yeah, so would it... How do y'all even know these are <laughs> That can go... Okay, we're going to do this, and we're going to do this. 1929, that sounds good. Pearl Harbor, 1963. Moon landing, what do you think? Oh. That's gonna I go there. I think the too. moon landing goes there. Moon landing? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then put, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So if you want to step back for a second, <laughs> just look at this. Can you tell us which ones we got right? Uh, yes. Uh, none of them. Okay. I don't, okay. 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 Let's, let's think about this for a second. The first spaceship or first moon, the first place landing on the moon was before the first airplane. Defeated. Wait, what? Oh. No, oh, they had to use a spaceship to get there anyways. Right? Get to what anyways, the moon? What? Yeah. I don't like this. All right. <laughs> so y'all can just edit the video to like where we got it all right. That's close though. We See, we could do that, except it'd be more entertaining if we just put the whole thing in there. Oh, I think we did good. <laughs> all right, well, thank you all very much for doing that. <laughs> yeah. Zero for nine. That's <laughs> you were close, though. Good job there. Okay, this is going to be a challenge, but I only know one off the top of my head from, I know the moon landing was in 1969. Oh, you can put it in the little box. I there. put it, excuse me, put it in the box right here. Yes, okay, well, the Wright brothers are from Ohio. Yeah, that's where I'm from. Okay, but I don't know when they flew. I know they also were in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Does that anything no, count? That, that, no, this that, does not count. I'm sorry, this but that gives me. nothing for you right mm -hmm. here. Okay, good, 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 good. There's no well, I don't know. I know Pearl Harbor happened in December, so, um, but I don't know the year. Uh, oh, gosh. This is going to be bad. I don't know. I, I'm just going to go with this. Just gonna roll with it. I don't know. This is gonna be We're really speed bad. Running right now. Okay. If this was pop culture, I would dominate. I know all the Kardashians in order, but I don't know this. Okay. This definitely is before this, and this. No, hold on. I know this is gonna come after this because we got into World War II when this happened. And because of Pearl Harbor, we interned the Japanese. I'm just trying to teach you some knowledge that I know. I don't know dates, though. God. Okay, this is before. No, this is after this. Oh, God. I'm just going with it. We're just going. We're going. We're going. Oh, no, this is falling. That's... Oh, that's not. This is not the right box? Or is um, it the right answer? I'm not saying anything. You, you're I, not I was talking about the board falling itself. More Sorry. duct tape, please. <laughs> okay. Really. I'm just going to. I'm just going to. Okay. Go. I know. Did I get. I got one right, right? Oh, uh, you got more than one correct. Excellent. Four out of nine. A 50. Woohoo. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> that was pretty good. Thank you very okay, much. No for, problem. For doing this. Okay. 
All right, so you just want me to put them in, in yeah, order? Yeah, just put them in order of when you think mm. it happened. All right. And you have the dates right here to tell you. Well, I know World War One came before World War Two, so... That's usually how numbers work, yeah. Yeah. Let me see any interesting dates. Uh, this is Mickey Mouse, by the way. Oh. The first Mickey Mouse little cartoon. Man. Steamboat Willie. Yeah. All right. Um... I'm gonna go with Steamboat Willie as number one. Well, you you think it's first? All right. Yeah. There you go. That's for sure first. Um, number two for me is probably gonna have to go with <clears throat> the Wright Brothers. Yeah. So 1912s right here. So it would go yeah. Mm. But I feel like I've seen 1912 before. I'm sure you're not thinking of 1812? I might be thinking of 1812. Okay. Or 1712? We're going to go with the Wright Brothers. We're going to put that there for now. Because always go with your first answer. All right. <laughs> um, you're doing good. Hey, you got two so far. They're not, they may or may not be right. Hey, hey. Good. You're good. good. You're doing good. Titanic's in here somewhere. That one's definitely third. 100%. All right. We didn't land on the moon until later. I'm gonna go ahead and put that. I really Wait. hope we got that on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> JFK. Uh, I'm gonna go there. Yeah, you gotta push it hard. Oh gosh! Oh, we lost her. <laughs> All right, you're good. This one looks like last. That one looks like last. Okay. And then, I'm gonna throw these in here somewhere. Yeah. Right. World War II happened in 1941, apparently. It definitely did. Alright, Pearl And Harbor. you're saying Pearl Harbor came before it? I thought so. Because isn't that what started World War II? Are you asking? Do you actually want me to tell you? That's Well, Pearl Harbor started World War II, I thought. All right, now you just got two more. You got the Great Depression and, and we go World War II. Here. Or World War One. Sorry. And the depression was caused by the war because everybody gets depressed from the war. All right. History with Grace. <laughs> World, World War II started in '39. It started for the United States in '41 with Pearl Harbor. So those those two are switched. Oh, you trickster! Yeah, well, I'm you worried, tricked no. you tricked yourself. So. I'm worried about the home country. Yeah, that's right. That's pretty good. You did pretty good. This might be cringe. I'm very sorry. Ah. <sighs> Calm down, Luke. I'm sure you have all heard by now that we will get to have prom this year. It's on May 7th here on the soccer field, and it will be a night to remember. Tickets are $40 if purchased before March 26th and $50 after that. Tickets will not be sold after April 23rd. You may purchase them at the bank or online. Yearbooks are still on sale for $90. Pre-orders have ended, so we are currently selling the remaining stock and do not anticipate having any extras. We sold out last year and expect to do the same this year. Orders can be placed using school cash or yearbookforever.com. The deadline to order senior ads is quickly approaching and has also been extended until February 15th. To order, upload photos, and write messages, please go to yearbookforever.com. Environmental Club will have a meeting today after school in C206. Due to COVID restrictions, the hardworking yearbook staff is having a hard time collecting content. Please send any pictures of the school year to lhssouvenir at gmail.com or upload to yearbookforever.com or email BDN and we'll make sure the staff gets it. Did you miss registration for next year? Even though the student portal on Skyward is closed, you can still add classes or make changes to your schedule. Just go by guidance and request to see your counselor. The softball team is having a grab-and-go pancake breakfast on March 13th from 8 to 10 at Emmanuel Baptist Church. Tickets are $5, and you can buy your tickets now from any softball player or email the coach at Wood. This weekend, the wrestling team is competing in the district tournament Friday, and those that advance will compete in the regional tournament Saturday. All meets will be held at Beach High School. Times and cost of admission will be announced later. Our swim team has a meet this Saturday at the MTSE High School Invitational. 
Last meet, we had eight personal best, seven regional qualifiers, and three state qualifiers. Tonight, our basketball teams take on Station Camp here at LHS, and our teams have been on a roll. Let's hear what Coach Mack has to say. Question for you. So, big game tonight, Station Camp. Mm -hmm. Another, what, 12 and 3 in the district, I think? Just yep. as good as Green Hill. What can you do to prepare for that game and preparing for the district tournament coming up? Yeah, so Station Camp, you know, we, we've kind of run the gauntlet here these last few games at Beach and then Green Hill and Station Camp, the top three teams in the league. And, uh, you know, first time through, we lost to all three. They were all three on the road. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's been nice these last few games to be at home. Uh, also being able to have the fans back, which has been big. Our guys really feed off of that and the energy that our students bring, and they've been doing a great job. So we, we do appreciate that. Um, I know tonight Coach Barrett and I have, uh, you know, got some pizza coming for the student section. Uh, for those of you that get there early tonight, uh, we'll have some pizzas for you. Uh, so that's, that's you know, should be a good thing. Uh, Station Camp is a, a talented team. You know, if they win tonight, then they do. They, they win the league for the regular season. Uh, Beach and Green Hill played last night, and uh, Beach actually beat Green Hill last night. Um, they moved that up because of a wrestling regional tournament that's at Beach. So, um, <clears throat> if, uh, if we, uh, we are to win tonight, then, uh, then Beach would actually end up winning the league. So, we're locked in at the fourth spot right now. Uh, some of those losses earlier in the year that, uh, um, you know, we, we let get away have kind of put us in that spot. But uh, we are locked in to play, uh, to host next week um, the first round game. And I do think that's going to be Wilson Central. Uh, at home, so you know we'll, we'll definitely tonight. We're going to try to continue to build on uh, you know the momentum that we've got and the confidence that we've we've been able to have, and um, then taking that into next week, uh, we'll take next week. Uh, it's a long week with not playing until next Friday, but uh, trying to uh, you know refine some things, make sure we try to prepare for every possible scenario we may see next Friday, because uh, that's a big one, you know, district tournament. Uh, it's a loser goes home, winner advances on a region next Friday. So uh, definitely working towards making sure we're at our best for them. Thank you for your time. Thank you. That's right. The girls start at 6, the boys right after, and the theme is frat. You can purchase tickets online at GoFan.com. If you can't make it, both games will be live streamed on our LHS VDN Facebook app. And that's all the news we have today, LHS. I'm Jeffrey. And I'm Blue. And this has been news to you from the Hawaii and Blue. Hey, you actually said it with me that time, unlike last time. Wow, that was, I was not being aggressive.